It's a pea berry. Oh. Does that mean anything? Yeah. Let me just, uh, now you can cut this out and use it as a little clip. <laughs> but <laughs> pea berry. <laughs> oh, you found me out. <laughs> pea, pea berries are oval. They're like little eggs with a crevice in them. And it's when the coffee uh, flower produces only one bean instead of uh, two matched beans. Pea berries are basically a grade of coffee. This is what's important to remember. All coffee production has pea berries. However, it's the choice of the mill owner or the farmer to whether to separate out the pea berries and sell it as a separate grade, sometimes two grades, big pea berries and little pea berries, or to leave the pea berries in with the flat beans. For some reason, which I've never been able to determine, Tanzania became associated with pea berries. This must have happened in the 50s, because by the time specialty coffee got going in the 60s, Tanzania was firmly associated with pea berries. So you would have regular beans from all the other origins, and then there would be a Tanzania pea berry. And Tanzania does not produce more pea berries than any other place. It's just that they're branded, identified with the pea berry grades. The other issue that comes up often with pea berry is whether they're better than flat beans. And the, there's a kind of a pop science that says, well, the stuff that's in two flat beans is all concentrated in one bean, so it's got to be better. Uh, this is probably not true. Sounds good, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but there, there's usually a difference. So I've been on farms where I've tasted the pea berry grade and the flat grades, and you can always tell they're different, but it, I, whether they're better or not is another question. The final point about pea berries is that they roast differently from flat beans. They move easier, they roll. So sometimes the roaster who's not prepared to deal with the pea berry may screw it up. Whoever roasted this one didn't screw it up. But it's a very unusual coffee, right? It's a pea berry, and it's from Tanzania, and it's a natural. George C. Romero really wanted to make an impression here. <laughs>